Okay, guys, I'm back. We lost the connection, so this is part two. I'm standing in that same area where last year Baby Noel picked that red, that ripe, fresh, homegrown tomato. And um, we have that video on our YouTube channel. She bit into it. That was three years ago. It was delicious and nothing like a homegrown tomato here. But today, real quick, I'm going to give you a master class in sunflowers. A great quote by Ron Finley, the gangster urban gardener who says growing your own food is like printing your own money how true it is look behind me look at that beautiful specimen i am six feet two inches tall and these mammoth sunflowers dwarf me this was seed i saved from last year see these seeds and i didn't even even use all of them look i left some so this was a sunflower head that um that i left until very late in the season and as you can see the birds got some before I pulled it, but this is a sunflower seed. And so you could take this, you could put this in a brine of salt and roast it. And you can also save this, put this in an envelope and plant this out. And that is what I did. Of course, all of these seeds, you'll never have to buy another sunflower again. I hope you enjoyed that tip. And it is so easy to do. And by doing it this way, okay, you are actually acclimating this mammoth sunflower plant to your particular region. And I'm gonna show you real quick how healthy this plant is. Look at this specimen. Look at these leaves. Look at my hand, okay? Look how big it is! And it's heart-shaped because it loves you. It appreciates you for growing it. And look at this stalk. And look at this beautiful, look at these heads that are open. Look how healthy this is, okay? Now imagine this in your child's hair. Imagine this on your table. I just love how, I just love how you can cut some of these flowers and enrage them in a living room, a bathroom, on the front porch, and they just brighten everyone's day, don't they? Look how beautiful that is. You can do it too. It's easy. We can show you how. Watch our educational channel. Watch our educational channel, Ophelia's Blue Vine Farm on YouTube. Ophelia's Blue Vine Farm, and I'll see you in the next video. I have been painting <laughs> the door today, and uh, so that's what that red is. I'm not trying to give a fashion statement. So the first video, I had uh, a cucumber seed on my lip. Now I have red paint on my eyebrows. What is going on with Farmer Mike? I have indeed lost it.